<laughs> He's so cool. Puma, what's that? Good morning, good morning. It's about seven o'clock and everything is waking up and it's bright. The sun is out. It feels great. I am walking down to the main road because I seen some wild roses, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna pick some and dehydrate them for tea. And now that we're getting our hippie hot tub set up, I might use them for a bath and stuff. So walking down there with Puma. This time, normally I walk with Kai. Puma's the one that really watches the cats a lot and so we need to tire him out so he kind of leaves them alone um, it's really funny i also want to say thank you to all you guys who left me a beautiful comment on my last video especially about the intro that i did i really loved making that intro it was so much fun and i actually filmed all that on my birthday i took advantage of the birthday card and i asked jake if he could get some really cool shots of me in the forest and um, and walk around barefoot and really connect to where I live and understand her even more. And so thank you so much for all those beautiful comments. I loved reading them and it just inspires me to keep going and keep doing this. And I just, I'm loving it more and more every time I put a video out. <laughs> I just get so excited and I'm like, yes, another video.
just made a bowl of oatmeal and I love making oatmeal because you can just like throw whatever you want in it that you like, like raisins and goji berries and then the salmon berries that you just seen me pick, I threw in here. Um, I just, oatmeal show great. So I did an oil treatment to my hair last night. So my hair is like super oily. The ends of my hair I did coconut oil and then my roots I did avocado oil. Since I'll be washing my hair, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a clay face mask and then also kind of a mask on my mosquito bites and bug bites because I have a ton of them. I have them all on my chest and then my neck and my back and I've been trying so hard not to itch them but it is very difficult even on like on my arms and my legs. So I'm gonna do a peppermint uh, green clay mask for my bites. Um, the peppermint will soothe it and the clay mask will retract um, the bacteria and um, the oils and stuff. And then for my face, I'm just gonna do a green clay mask with a uh, turmeric powder. So I'm gonna finish up my breakfast and then get into that. So this is the first time that I've been outside in the last like three days. <laughs> it feels so good and the sun is shining. It's just perfect. Um, if you guys follow my Instagram or my other YouTube channel, um, the story on there, then you'll know that I kind of got into a sort of an accident. So about three days ago, um, I went out for my morning run um, like I do about every other morning and I this is just so embarrassing. I was just focused on the run and I tripped on a rock and then hit my knee up against a bigger rock and it like sliced the whole front part of my knee open, like the skin, it was so gross. I immediately got up and started kind of limping. I was like, oh man, that really hurt my knee because I was wearing yoga pants. So I didn't know what the, what the damage looked like. I was like, well, that ended my run. <laughs> so I kind of started to hobble back home, which I was already pretty far away from the yurt. Then all of a sudden I just felt like blood, like wetness all over my knee. And I was like, oh no, this can't be good. So I lifted up my pant leg and I seen how bad it was. So I ended up calling Jake and then he came and got me and he seen how bad it was. And <laughs> I was like, I was like, can't we just put some butterfly bandages over it and call it good? And he was like, no, you're you're probably gonna need stitches because you need them to clean it and you don't want it to get infected. And it was pretty bad. It really put in perspective of us living on a boat access only property because you know we really had to like take our time and make sure that everything was set up for us to leave. You know, we have two dogs and we have the risk of bears getting in, so we had to put the fence up and all this stuff. So I'm sitting there while Jake's running around, trying to be calm, and um, he did such a wonderful job of getting everything and having me kind of clean around the area, and we kind of bandaged it up a little bit, and then he carried me everywhere. <laughs> he carried me to the car, he carried me to the boat. He was my hero. <laughs> I think we're starting to see what it's like to live on a boat access only property when someone gets injured. I'm in the truck. We kind of bandaged it up a little bit and um, Jake's doing a final run through because we got him to make sure that no bears get in the air while we're gone. Yeah. It's really starting to hurt right now, but I'm trying to not think about it. So off to the hospital we go. Then we boated over to uh, where our car is on the mainland and we drove to the hospital. What 
happen. I'll suture it up. How do, you, how do you feel? I feel better. Hungry. <laughs> just, just the skin. And ended up getting 11 stitches. And that was that. So, so super unfortunate. But hey, you know, it could be a lot worse. Honestly, Jake thought that I got attacked by a bear. So thank goodness I didn't. And um, the road that I run on is, you know, it's like a gravel dirt road. But it's very heavy. Like, there's just a lot of rocks on this road. And I mean, what do you to do? <laughs> so, so I wasn't able to finish um, this video the way that I wanted it to with my clay mask. Because... Um, when I was putting the clay mask on, we actually had a visitor come over, so I had to stop. But the clay mask turned out great. Um, I loved it, it made my skin feel wonderful, and put the other clay mask that had the mint on it on my mosquito bites. It helped them not itch as bad, and um, so yeah. The recipe that I used for the clay masks will be in the description, but it'll also be in the video as you guys have seen. It's pretty simple, and I really liked the results a lot. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment something wonderful down below. I love reading your guys' comments. And I'll see you guys next time.